Oh, big rats. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you got the uncover. <laughs> How many of you lamb now? Oh, I haven't a clue. They're lambing away. That's... Well, it's good. Good job to point the camera at the screwiest wee, wee things I have here. <laughs> Another one round the corner here has been messing about for a lot of hours, but she hasn't really done a whole lot. My helper's disappeared on me. The nephew was here this morning, but he's gone now. Can't get the staff. How many are you expecting out of this one? Two, in theory. Well, I've had one single end up, was there one or two singles end up with twins? And then with a triplet with quads. Everything is here, she just doesn't want to do anything. She's just not pressing. She's been messing about since this morning, like she's a lot of hours she hasn't bothered. I hate one like that because she's messed about so long. There I go down. Are you better life there? Oh, I think you'll be all right. There's no point waiting till he's dead to start rubbing him like so. <laughs> well, she wouldn't have got that out herself. Like, does the second one usually come easier? Normally does. She'll... If the foot's twisted up there, just... That was a good bit hand there. Uh, first one made way for the second one. She was just that tight. Like the first one, everything was presented right, but touch wood, we haven't had that much bother lambing them this year. So because I said that, the last handful is going to be a torture, but that's more silly things this year, the aftercare, because we've a lot of triplets this year. Putting them on the singles, more messing about trying to get the O's to, to take them. And in fairness, the nephew's done a brave bit this year. He hasn't actually got lambing one yet because they have been all lambing themselves, which I think he's a wee bit miffed at. He hasn't got stuck in. But if he'd stayed, he'd have got lambing that maybe. But a good difference it makes. He comes down in the mornings there and he's bedding, feeding. A lot of wee jobs that I can do well without. But then he's, I think he's starting to get a notion finally now of the tractors. So that'll be the next, the next thing. So I'll have to show patience, which I'm not always good at. Have to remember he's still young. You have to just bite your. your Surely you're going to let him do the rolling now. Come on. Well, let him. That's where everybody starts in the roller. Well, let him do the rolling, and then when he gets her stuck, I'll let him worry about getting out of himself too. Oh no, no, you shouldn't be going to let hold the tractor. Now. That's what you have to teach him something like. Oh, he's to be fair, he's. This last couple of weeks, it's surprising what he's picked up. Oh, just that much messing about, trying to scraping out cattle, feeding. Had to get the cover, had to take it off the sailor. We're at the back wall getting now, so. Men are waiting with bated breath to see the quality of your sailage in the next pit. Oh. Well, I'm waiting in bated breath too, but <laughs> I was kind of hoping out of stretch that wouldn't Imagine making the wait till April. I've got on not so bad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to actually open the pit this year that I got the cattle out before it, but it looks like we're going to be in it. Oh, there's no grass in the fields to get the cattle through out anyway. And once these wee brutes go out the grass, they'll red up whatever's there. Like, and We've got a filming to do all. We're going to travel outside Northern Ireland for stockyards this year. That's the plan. The big sea permitting. That is the plan. It's going to be a hectic year, like, but we'll get there. Right. Next job, all. Next job. Right, need to scrape a wee more cattle out. And that's, we're only halfway through, so we're... Well, I say we, like, but Alan's going to do all the work. Well, that's a given, like, that's a given. What happened to the corner, Alan? He buck raked that? I had no buck rake man wasn't paying attention. 
Was you gonna tell me I had Tom Buck like that or something? And did he not do that that wee corner before I took over? <laughs> That's bad show. <laughs> you know, genuinely, you just can't get enough grass or weight into the corner to do an awful lot. Now, that's bad, if I'm honest. That's... But even in the other cover, we made the mistake. I told him to keep it back this way because I thought I was planning on the thought I wouldn't have two pits. I thought it was just one real full pit. I thought that would be a big slope on the back. So I told him to keep it in a couple of foot. The way it was, should have been back a couple of foot, but live and learn, live and learn. Oh, yeah, uh, you don't have a belt right to the very, very edge here. You've got like a couple of foot of plastic sticking out. Aye. Uh, yes. That's my own fault. That's That was me telling the, the experts what to do. Yes. Which I should know better. There's the chief coming again. Why she doesn't hit you that bucket? That's something you do have to be careful with. <laughs> Whoa! Tell you one thing, I'm glad there's not all the fencing sitting ahead of me. I'd be a sick boy if I had to do that again. There's still, there's still fencing to do, but it's not as mammoth. Uh, oh, it's the long finger job. That's we'll get there at some stage. It's job, and that's still the same field that was my priority field to do, and it's not flaming done. I must be the most awkward boy for doing things in a rare manner. Right! Oh, I think Daz maybe starting to feel the effects of the, the lambing this year. It would have been beat if Caleb wasn't down. If I'm there, I can still do all the feeding, all the wee stupid jobs, but just something needed a hand to catch or something when I'm not here. Like, Dad can still lamb them. Caleb being about helped him but I think I've got the stage through the night what's left there the triplets is all red up I'll not be stressing as much through the night I don't go to bed the after midnight anyway so if he wants to get up through the night he can if he doesn't he doesn't but there's too many nights I get up there and then half an hour later I'm lying in bed to hear him getting up and I was like what's the point just just take it in turns or, but no we both have to be tired and we both have to be grumpy and we both have to shout at each other for no reason and I just, it's hard to say though, because next year I don't know if Caleb will be about between the schools off and then we lamb a bit later in Easter. I don't know if I'd want to do it this year without Caleb, to be honest. I love the way it's Dad's sheep, but I'm the one paying Caleb. I don't know how that's just managed to happen, but... Well, how does that work? Like, is uh, you one of these marriages with uh, several bank accounts or what? Pretty much. Okay, he doesn't spend money on himself, to be fair. But he could end up taking head staggers and buying something stupid at bigger money that I've no call for, but... Ah, oh, you're hiding you! Oh, did I get you? Mrs McLean washed that last week. Right, don't bring the wife in there to make me feel guilty. He tried to throw me under the bus last night. But I wouldn't put a heater in the office to keep warm. That's what he, he tried to tell the wife. I think the wife needs to teach you to wash your own clothes. <laughs> then you don't need to worry about getting a wee bit of something on them. I guess it was a rookie mistake on my part. I was in the splash zone. I should have known better. Sure you'll know for again. You have to take responsibility for things in life. It's my fault because of where I chose to stand. Well, see, Brian is like, old Tom is the one I blame for everything. Brian's the one you blame for everything. There's no need to take responsibility. <laughs> I'd be, I think I'd be stretching now to blame Brian at this oh, stage. Now, come on, if Brian had been down holding the wee umbrella, he could have saved you. <laughs> That's a wee luxury I can't afford, to have Brian standing beside me with an umbrella at all times. It would be a good punishment though for him. Break, breaks a bit of camera gear, it's like you stand all day. I'll tell you what the umbrella. real problem with having Brian here standing holding an umbrella is, he would break the umbrella. <laughs> John, that umbrella's not working anymore. You take a look at it now. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, that corner really down too, sir. See, you were saying I needed a bigger harvester. I can't even get the loads filled properly with the wee harvester going. I don't know. I, I never seen corners dropping away like that. Ever. You go and insult somebody else's silo. <laughs> you need to get your ladder to get down on there for that tire. I think we've well established that this isn't like the, this isn't a focus farm or showpiece how to teach people. 
I'm teaching people by showing them how not to do things. I love the odd comment on YouTube there. I do something and then I'm a idiot or stupid or that boy's a chump or that boy's an idiot doing it that way. I have never once claimed to be an expert. <laughs> I saw the woman messaging me I have the problem with that, you know. Can't keep up or what? Oh, shocking all together. What you do mess there, hey? <laughs> a tire can be thrown very handy. <laughs> you mean to get the crowbar to get that out of there or what? If it wasn't for the fact they were scared of breaking the camera, you would be getting one lashed at you. I <laughs> see, <laughs> you can't see him on camera now, but he is standing on edge. <laughs> oh, big rats. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, yeah. oh you got the hand camera. <laughs> this is where a big rat will run up my trouser leg. There's one way there. There's mice in there. What are we doing now, horse? I'll shift these bowls to clean them out. Just, it's fun, fun, fun. Are we on for sale? Ah, well, these bowls are for sale. Not expecting to get a whole lot of money for them. They haven't seen meal. And they don't just look that showy, but hopefully somebody will buy them and they'll know the breeding's still there. Do you have a favourite? Boy with a short tail is not a bad bull here, but. Like I say, with no meal in them, they look pretty grim like. But we would never push the bulls on. The boys coming to buy off us, they don't want that bull that's pushed at a sale. They want them just in nice flesh. Problem is this year, instead of giving them a kilo, two kilos a head a day, I give them nothing, I just give them silage. I don't know, they don't think it was a good idea. As most boys come, they want to see the cows right uh, and they see what the cows like and then and see what the bulls like and they're happy enough the breeding's there but that's dead on for repeat customers who know us a new man coming to the yard well he looks at that and then he goes and looks at one at sale and that's fed the guts out of it the hair all combed up nicely and it might be bull as we short tail <laughs> but that is a big problem with the bulls at sales now they are pushed that heavy that even like if the fertility if you have them insured the insurance won't pay out unless you have to leave them at three months, sort of cut the feedback and let them settle down again because the fertility can come back to them. Just like yourself, you know, you eat too much, you're just not fit for it, so you're not. What are you cleaning out in here? I'll just the front of it there. Clean up the sides and just the front, like that there's... The wood chip, that looks dirty. Some of that, which is just getting to the stage now. I have to decide to lie down there to get dirty up the back, to stay dry and that. So if you were bedding that in straw, couldn't afford it. The amount of money it would cost to try and keep them clean and be unreal. But the cattle numbers is getting, they're slipping back and back and back. I might not need to worry that much longer. It'll be, I don't know, next door, I still would love to put a cubicle house in there. I'm just reluctant to spend the money and then thinking it's not a good job. A cubicle house, no bedding. I would like mats down, rubber mats down in the cubicles, and then you're just scraping out the, the passage. If you want to be really fussy, you could throw a drop of sawdust up along it. You'd want a wee tank to be scraping into. Just see them down in bedding, but the time you start putting in a tank and all the rest, it starts adding up on a lot of money. And my plan was to have 50 cows. That was the 50 cows sell everything, heifers, bulls every year until the cows got edgy about the end. Maybe keep a run of heifers. By the time I get rid of the stuff I don't want, I'm probably going to be down to about 30 cows. I'm, a, I'm hoping this year the breeding pattern is going to get synced up again in a better, a better fashion. But I messed up this year. I never feed a lot to the cattle. I didn't feed any young stock or none. Like the calves next door now, I'm creeping them at the moment because I learned from a mistake from not creeping last year's calves. Again, bulls never got creeping or nothing. And I don't want to push bulls on, but the pedigree game, not feeding them any meal. I made a mistake, Dad was right, I was wrong, there we go. But <laughs> what was the theory of not feeding them? Give, give me your theory before it went wrong, I missed that somewhere along the way. I kind of thought I would just get away without feeding them. <laughs> Especially the continental cattle, they do need meal, you know, to, to bulk them up. 
And really, it's not going to affect the, the breeding of them. You know, they're still going to breed the same, but it's that visual when the man comes to your yard to look at them and he sees something that he'll assume that it's been filled with meal and it looks like nothing. Whereas genuinely haven't been filled with meal, they're in their natural flesh, but there's a happy balance and I was too tight with Molly. Well, to sort of support your theory, like it's pretty obvious whenever you've not fed them, like, like he's not going to come and think you've not fed them whenever you, you fed them whenever you haven't, like. I made a mistake. That was the height and short of it. I was kind of worrying about Molly too much and then... I my new Holland is just... It's a big burden. It's a big burden on a farm having a new home. It is a big burden. It has been this last <laughs> year. So every time you do, you save a way to pound up thinking you're going to do something. And there was what? There's another 500 pounds spent on one of them there. When you see the price of new machinery, spending a couple of grand on the tractor isn't as scary. It doesn't make it any nicer. But it's... I'll never buy a new tractor in my life. Like, it's just gone mad. The only thing I might ever buy is a new handler. And I don't even see me doing that. It's that would be my luxury because I don't care about cars. If you look at it, like oh, some boys spend a lot of money on a car. The handler, the farm, you couldn't justify it for the farm wise. But if you just want a wee treat for yourself, a new handler would be the thing I'd want. But I think we've established I'm not a pilot either. <laughs> like, but the tractor and loader is not for me. Well, this would be the reason why the wee new Holland got stuck in the field with the tanker. Four wheel drive doesn't really work when you don't have the shaft on her. The housing that holds your barn on underneath her, she broke and gave away. The bolts must have been, well, I know the bolts was loose because when, when I heard the rattle, one bit was already broke off and the other bit was cracked. Then I forgot all about it. So, was that something like 60 quid for that wee bit of metal there? Like you could have made that yourself and then uh, we sir clips to go on. I lost Where's one. the sir clip going? You have a sir clip goes on each end. This might be easier. Senior ridge on this side. The sir clip goes on there. I lost one of them. I've been sods the when the thing was took off her. I threw it down at my backside. We'll not get stuck next time. We'll get that back on her. I was such a stupid thing. Is it? It was such a simple thing to fix, and I just as clean forgot all about it. And then the time we lost messed about with that tanker. But that's the joys of main machinery. Like I'm not exactly. A lot of men asked, why did we not just swap the tractors in the field? Well, one, she would have sunk in. You'd have been, you'd, you'd had a lot of blocks underneath her. Two, my wee tractor might have lifted her on the left arms the way she is at the minute with a full load on her. Ooh, not a confession. She just needs adjustment. She's not broke. She just needs. <laughs> Dad's wild habit, you know. He ho hooks something on. He pulls the arms right up, so she's always sitting yes. under tension. Yes, yes, yes. And then you tell him put it down a wee bit. And he says, "Oh, well, it doesn't need to be down a wee bit." And we didn't dump it on for the environment, peoples. That's why you don't just dump it on a slurry. That was. I think that was the number one solution. Was <laughs> dump the load of slurry out. Dump it out there. But thank you to all the uh, gentlemen who. Accused us of being rash. Oh, we were rash. Like, seen you reversing it, you know, jackknifing her. And I almost had her out. more of the field. Out of the cut. He was sitting breaking it in the other cab, but I was going to get her reversed out. Uh, if you'd have got her, if you'd have got her out without the chain, like, I would not have been a happy boy. I took a fair wee stab at her before I got you down. Like, yes, yes. oh, I never leave it that another man can step in and take her out. I would have, yeah, you just wouldn't have listened to it. Like, or die. He came out earlier and goes, you might get a new Merlot ordered. And I was like, what? And then he's just dead pan serious. He says, just go ahead, he says, and order a Merlot. And I was like, he's not buying me a Merlot, is he? And I couldn't figure out what had happened. Or... And he was dead pan serious. And then he started on about, oh, he says, I've inherited 20 million. And that's a letter in the post, some scam thing. But he nearly had me flaming convinced for like that split second. I was like, are we getting a new Merlot? <laughs> I think we're getting to the stage a new shear graph is going to have to be bought. And that's two teeth missing at this side now. I tell all of my fellow cameramen, I said, never turn the camera off, never turn the camera off, you never know what's going to happen next. I turn the camera off and you hear the big ping. <laughs> Look at that. Sheared it clean, boy. I'm going to have to bite the bullet. 
I think the Verno fund's gonna have to give way to the Sheer Mugger fund. I don't even know what a price you're over two even two and a half grand, easy enough for a new one of them. How many years old is this? 2003, so 18. It's alright. It's done alright. You got the blower this afternoon, start pricing. There's in the comments, recommendations, what shear grab? There's too many shear grabs to choose from now. In the comments, have you got a shear grab that lasted more than 18 years, people? It has to last more than 18 years of the Clyde Farm. You know what happened? That really was, that was user error there. The button for the pin stopped working. So Paul, he put it the relever lever here. He put it mechanically to it then. And I had done that the wrong way to pull the pin up in. And as I was setting her off, the pin was still locked in. So all the pressure went in the toes and snapped it instead of her releasing and coming off. Ah, as a pure cod that, because even you're opening the, you know, you use these in your buttons to open and shut your grab. I'm having to do that there and take the hand off the wheel left and right to open and shut the grab. I think it's to say that we'll just go for the new Merlot and the new shear grab. Actually, sure, we'll just get two new tractors at the same time as well. Big Zetters, that's what I'm going for. Yes, big crystals. Yes. That's a proper rod, like. Hey, time to go do something. Aye, get your finger out, son. <laughs>